everyone, Randy Harris here from Randy M. Harris Photography. And today I'm going to show you how to take a pretty simple image, uh, one that may be on the cusp of a throwaway, and jazz it up and keep it around just maybe to have for Instagram use on those dry weeks when you just need something to post up to stay consistent with your posts and things like that. So as you can see, we got um, Ossiboff here, who is one of my favorite test subjects, sitting on a white psych background. So um, I've already done the basic adjustments, and now we're just going to take this over into Photoshop. So I'm going to click on Photo, Edit In, and Edit in Photoshop. So I've already done that, so I'm just going to click out here, go over to Photoshop, open that up. Not quite sure what this is here, um, but if I notice by tap here, it just kind of goes away. So here's our image. I've already cleaned up a little bit of his hair. Like I said, didn't want to do too much um, because it's just a... Like I said, just a, a, a user image down the line. Um, so I uh, added a layer with this, um, this wood grain here, and I am going to activate it, and I am going to switch it over to an overlay. Um, sorry, back to, back to normal, and that is overlay. Okay, so sorry about that. So as you can see, it's added this wood grain here to the white background is also added it to its face and we are going to go in and get rid of that so what I'm going to do now is add a mask layer and come over here and make sure my brush is activated make sure it's on black and I am going to come up here at 100% and just start to take this out being careful of the edges here and I'm just going to get out of, out of the middle fairly good and fast here alright once I get this middle out um, I'm going to take my brush size down, and you'll see, since the background was um, white psych, or white, and his everything else is kind of gray, gray, black, that this is just going to blend in perfectly. And by the way, like I said, that's going to be probably used for Instagram or something like that, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just going to kind of run these edges here and clear all this out. Notice I'm not even really being that careful here clear it down like I said I remember I'm still here at a at a hundred percent so I'm getting this out here pretty quick I'm gonna look over here and I can see I missed something at the bottom here quite a bit so I'm gonna go in and just brush that away and as you can see now we have our background sitting you know on that white site so what I'm gonna do is just go up here go to file and save and that's going to take us back into Lightroom. So I'm going to come over here, go to Lightroom, and, it, and there it is. It's back in, hair's cleaned up, and now we have that really cool background there. You know, we can take it out from here and move on, but uh, I'm going to boost it up just a little bit here. So first thing I'm going to do is take the shadows, and I think I'm going to take the shadows up to about a 30 and what's going to happen, you're going to see it kind of wash out and start to get a little gray. So what that does is it helps out in the clarity. So I'm going to go to the clarity, and I'm going to pull it up to about a 25, I think 30. And that's just going to bring a little bit of character into his face, a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth, and, you know, kind of put a little grittiness in the wood and everything. So um, there we go. We could go out from there, but actually we're just going to kind of keep going here just a little bit. And so I'm gonna actually going to take the saturation down uh, to about a 9, 10. Now, it desaturated a little bit, and I got rid of my red, and I don't like that as much. So what I'm going to do is just basically go down here to the red channel, bring the reds up to about a 15, and let's go up to a 20 again here. Let's see, that looks like eh, around a 20. There you go. That's good enough. And so as you can see, the red came back into awesome because you definitely want to do that. And I just want to make sure this is still kind of pretty. There we go. Bring it up to a spot. And it brought the color back into his lips and right in here in the corner of his eyes, which a lot of people forget about, and that's really, really important. So now we got a little bit of color back. Um, and that awesome is standing out. Got a little bit of color on his lips, and like I said, around his eyes. Um, there. So... We could, again, we could stop here, but I'm going to move on just a little bit more and show you one of my favorite, favorite tricks. So I'm going to go up to the gradient tool. And when we work with single light sources, a lot of times we will bring them down or bring them to one side um, and then radiate them. 
to the other side. And I'm not a big fan of that. I like a little bit of depth and a little bit of contour in that side. So what I'm going to do is grab that gradient tool and pull it over. I think I can just pull it over to about this eye and bring it back in just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. The red part is what's going to be affected here. So I'm going to click off of this. And I'm going to actually going to go into an exposure. And I am going to drop the exposure down just a little bit to darken the side of his face. And maybe just a little bit on the eye as well. About a, about a six millimeter. There we go. Close enough. So now that's dark. But as we can see, if you look up here, it's, it's kind of dark in the background. And we don't necessarily have to settle for that. So what I'm going to do is brighten that up. I'll bring the, the um, mask up. Then I'm going to actually go over here to brush, make sure I'm at 100%, and go to erase. And I am going to go in and just erase that mask here. And as you can see, I'm not really being too careful here. If I look over here, I can see it's taken out this white, but I can see the gradient in his shirt, so I'm just going to go in and take this gradient out of his shirt here, try to avoid the paint as much as possible. And it's such, it's so slight that if you go in, you really won't be able to see it. I'm going to drop this down a little bit to the eye. And as you can see, he's just going to look a little bit blue. And there we go. Fantastic. So now everything is clear except for that little bit of darkness on the side of his face. I'm going to close that out. There we go. And as you can see, it's brought a little bit of darkness here um, to kind of match the other side, and it's putting a focus on the center of his face and around his eyes, which is where we want it. I'm actually going to go back into my edit tool here and double-click the effect. It's going to zero out everything, and I'm going to go into Iris Enhance. And I'm going to make this really small. Or I like to tap out here because that thing gets in the way sometimes. And I'm just going to kind of brighten up his eyes just a little bit there. And it's very subtle. Can't really see it, but it does um, add a little bit of glimmer to his eyes. Now I'm going to push Enter, close that brush out. I think I'm going to go in to Skin Soften. There we go. I'm going to bring the brush up and clarity is going to be a little too high, so I'm actually going to go to minus, let's say 10, enter, and just right in these little areas here, I'm just going to soften it up just a little bit, and I'm going to really gradient it out, and and done. So now I'm going to close out of that. Now I'm going to move into my kind of closing moves here. Um, we're going to go into sharpen go to a one-to-one -one drag on panel and I'm going to go alt or option and I'm going to go do something until he starts to look a little gritty usually about 35 to 30 percent just to get the tone of his face but somewhere around a 35 same thing go to detail alt option bring it up to a little more gritty gritty and with masking as you can see that's all white Again, I'm holding the off option key and bringing that down until it kind of clears out and I just get that sharp look around the eye. I tend to add a little bit of noise reduction regardless. It's kind of one of my habits and for the most part it's only about a five. Um, and then let's see, I'm going to go to fit and I am going to go to priority. I'm gonna look it over and I, I really like what I see here. Um, I like the colors. Uh, I think I'm gonna actually bring, bring it up to depth a little bit. I tend to shoot a little bit dark and a lot of times edit dark. So I'm trying to train my eye to bring it up just a little bit more. And the last thing I wanna do, I like this. Um, it probably could be rotated just a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is actually go in and we're gonna pop this to an eight by 10. And what that's gonna do is bring 
just awesome right here on the line. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. It's okay to crop the top. You'll see when we when I put your answer that it's just going to kind of work. I'm going to take a look at those figures just a tad bit there. Hit enter. You see it. You see there. Now we brought it a little bit forward. Um, by putting that shadows on the side, it's going to highlight your face. Just awesome. It's sitting here in just such an awesome place. And now we got an image, like I said, that can just sit in our in a gallery somewhere or in the back. And when we have a slow week, we're not shooting, and we just need to throw something up on Instagram or, you know, or something like that, you have this image. But, you know, you put enough work into it, it's also a printable and sellable. So um, let's go up here and just kind of look and see what we've got. And this is where we started, and this is where we are now. So, um, as you can see, big difference, definitely, definitely useful. So, um, if you saw something you like here, please, please, please hit that like button and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll get some new um, cool videos up here soon. And um, if you want to see what this looks like online, hit up off the boss 8 at off the boss 8 on Instagram. And this will be on my feed also at renaissancephotography.com. That's R-A-N, not R-E-N, um, renaissancephotography.com. Until next time, thanks for joining me. See you later.